Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, but I play other games as well, and I also manage to fuck up my own recordings. As uh, those of you who have watched episode 3 of my uh, scintillating playthrough of Will O'Neill's uh, Actual Sunlight have noticed, uh, the episode cuts out after about 18 minutes, and uh, which is just around when shit's about to get really interesting. So, uh, kind of disheartened, I uh, realized that uh, my original files were unsalvageable, because I usually delete episodes that I have recorded to make way for new recordings, and uh, so I actually had to, um, you know, play all the way up to the point where shit gets, shit gets interesting, and uh, so I decided to uh, just, you know, play the bit that you may have missed, or actually did miss. So uh, let's just find out what happens after years go by. Dramatic music kicks in. And the fucking alarm clock goes off. You know, I was so mad when this thing uh, didn't uh, work the way I expected it to, and I was completely... I mean, I finished the game today, and uh, once, uh, you know, shit went down and I went to my YouTube channel and discovered that one of the videos was very, very much very too short, verily, I just absolutely had a shit fit, which is uh, quite, uh, you know, I suppose uh, ki kind of, uh, kind of, um, uh, uh, oh god, I'm so mad I can't even form a fucking sentence. It's actually kind of appropriate. Appropriate was the word I was looking for. It's actually quite appropriate, because uh, this is the part where uh, our dear pal uh, Evan here completely loses his shit. So let's loose our shit together with him. He's so hungover. Oh god, I can't take this anymore. Dude, I know exactly how you feel. Can't take any of it. The same stupid shit. This fucking alarm clock. Yeah, get that fucking alarm clock. I fucking hate this shit. Destroy everything in the apartment. Now there's an objective I can get behind. Right, let's walk around. Waste the fucking time. Waste my fucking life. Let's get that oversized fucking thing. Kick the screen in. Good riddance. What's on the nightstand? Do I really need an iPad? No, you don't. Can I really not be apart from the internet for five goddamn fucking minutes? Of course you can't. Beat that shit up. Smashed it into the corner of the nightstand. It's done. Let's go over to these. These, these, I don't even know what these is. Do I even want to look at this thing? Why did I even buy it? Like I even read half the books I already own? No, you don't. Fuck you. Onto the floor you go. Never deserve to own it anyways. What about the dresser? Dresser. Fucking pinnacle of my uselessness. Alarm clock is shattered. So what? Like I don't have a goddamn alarm clock in my phone. Fucking VIP inbox. Everything in the goddamn universe to keep everybody from getting a goddamn minute of peace or anybody. I don't care. I'm so fucking mad. God. Let's get him in our undies and just smash the living hell out of everything. Big fancy chair for being a fuckhead who never gets off his ass all fucking day. Like I really need it just because of my back. Like I've got any good reason to not just be popping pills all the time with the rest of the wretched fucking universe. Like I can't just lay in my fucking bed all night like a goddamn vegetable. What's the difference anyways? I don't even fucking get home before 7pm most nights. And what the fuck am I getting home for even when I do? To just sit in this fucking chair. Who needs chairs? Let's get this. Let's get this over with. Sit in this chair and be a fucking jerk off on Facebook and watch YouTube because it's isn't everything just so fucking fascinating? So fucking mad I have to cough. <coughs> there you go. There you go. Get that shit off. Yeah, kicked a hole in the back. Don't even need it. I'm gonna leave the game console for last because stove. Doesn't even matter. What about the fridge? Empty. I'll just go eat shit like I normally do. Let's go in the... No? No? Not until all this shit is out of my life forever. Can't go in the bathroom yet. I even need a kitchen. Smash the fucking kitchen. No, smash the TV. Flat screen, neon, yuppie, bullshit. Off you go. Neon, yuppie. Neo, yuppie, bullshit. And here's the game console. Bane of our existence. Fucking... All you have to do is destroy everything. Good! Let's get this out of the system. By Evan Winter. You know, the problem with you... The problem with you is not that you're a gutless, craven pussy who can't get off your ass. No, your problem is that you have too much stuff. Consumer electronics are your problem. The internet is your problem. All these unbelievably entertaining things, and you're just hopelessly addicted to all of them. That's why you need to cancel your home internet, cancel your high-definition cable, rip apart your $2,000 gaming PC, throw it in the garbage, and leave yourself with nothing but a bunch of crappy, outdated console systems. Because you want to be a different person. 
month later you'll be sitting in your blanked out apartment with nothing to do and you'll finally say to yourself, it's time to get out there in the world. I want to meet strangers in cafes. I want to join a kickball league. Which is oddly specific, actually. But not long after this, you will find yourself playing those crappy, outdated consoles every night and punching yourself for wrecking your own shit. Just because you want to be a different person doesn't mean you will be able to become one. <coughs> Never mind, off you go, fuck you. <coughs> fuck you, indeed, exclamation mark times three. There we go, it's all smashed open, parts everywhere. Oh my god, that felt so good. This is like, this is catharsis. Now let's go take a massive rage dump. Alcoholic vomit is coolness leaving the body by Evan Winter. A lot of fat people think they're hot shit because they drink a lot. They know that nobody in a social situation really wants to talk to them, so they hang out with each other and get totally fucking wasted. Sometimes, if they're rich or funny, a few people will find them endearing enough to actually speak to. By and large, however, they just get completely annihilated and go home to throw up into their cracked seat toilets. But all this is an outsider's perspective. The real reason fat people drink is because it actually makes them feel confident. And confidence, to a 300 pound piece of human shit, is all they ever wanted. You feel levitation, ooh, I can fly, carelessness, acceptance. Then. One day, you feel bad enough when you're not drunk that you realize that drinking actually makes you feel the way that regular people feel all the time. Needless to say, this is when you know it's time to mature into an older and wiser person and switch to antidepressants, like a good little zombie. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Let's have a good long look in the mirror, shall we? No. Okay, maybe not. Now... Let's take a shower. Let's curl up in the fetal position and just let the rain drizzle down on our meek, blithy existence. Is blithy even a word? I don't care at this point. I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm gonna quit this job. I'm gonna stop everything. It doesn't even do anything. I don't I care anymore. Why don't I care anymore? Third time's the charm. No. Go to the roof of the building and jump off. That therapist in his head is really, uh, yeah, messing with him. Did we smash the mirror too? I don't recall us doing that, but, uh, yeah. You say, by Evan Winter, you say you refuse to be the creature you are and go on living. It sloshes around in your skull like acid, aching from the moment you wake up to the minute you stand still and breathe through the water to the hours you lay in bed at night, shifting through one piece of your breaking body to another. You say, you say, you say. You say you won't go on, not alone. Not like this. You say it isn't human, that it isn't safe. You say it is natural to exist in nothing but contemplation of the joy you will never have, however secure you may be for the moment. That too much can be undone by a lost and angry person in a single decision. And holy shit did we undo stuff. You say you're tired of the pain and sickness that stole your youth. Say you've had enough of waiting to see what part of your mind or body collapses next. You say you won't submit to the incomprehensible object that all of it slowly turning you into a target of awkward silence false hope, a wedding funeral family asterisk, some car careerist article by some careerist asshole on how society is in full-scale collapse because the government won't pay for your pointless, stupid, unlivable life. If you say so. Say you won't suck off this sad and stupid future. Wow, that's a sentence right there. You say you won't take another job just like the one you just lost. You won't buy the next new cell phone. And you won't keep meeting up with the same old people who all do the same old things. Sounds like Facebook. You say you won't do it. You swear to God you won't do it. So go on. Say it. Say it to yourself. Get drunk. Say it to your friends. Say it to someone who you wish you cared about you. Say it to someone who you wish cared about you and actually believe that it makes you look romantic instead of ridiculous. Say it on Twitter and Tumblr until it's all anybody believes about who you are. Say it like the world won't go on without you or that you have anything to lose but yourself. 
Say it for the sake of never doing anything until the day comes when everything you said so much about losing is actually lost. The day everything you said would happen actually happens, and the only choice left is either something worse, the grinding years of living through it without the heart, or anything, or nothing at all. My inability to read this out loud is actually dissipating some of my anger. When there's nothing left to say, what will you say instead? You know what? Fuck this. I'm fine. I'm going to work. Enough of this bullshit. I'm just going to be different. I'm just going to be fine being myself and it's going to be fine. I can find my own way to being somebody better. With all that stuff gone, all I have to do now is do something good. Just a day at a time. Someday, this whole part of my life will just be a tiny memory. And the world just fades. And violins kick in. And the piano lilts in the background. And, uh, and uh, the rage shower is over. So, I think one shower is enough. So, uh, can we take a rage dump now? No. No. Nope. Uh, just had to skip through all of that again. Okay, so uh, let's get back into my newly redecorated living room. Oh god, what have I done? Yeah, what have you done? The hole in the back. Broke the TV. The screen is cracked as shit. Oh god, oh god. Well, maybe the fridge works. No. <laughs> okay, well, um... Let's leave the apartment then, shall we? Do you want to save your game? Hell no, I just... I... no, no, no. I think we're... We're all the way over with this. So, anyway, that's uh, where we uh, left off in the uh, third episode, when it was originally recorded. And uh, now it's time to uh, go to work, and uh, what you should do now is just uh, pretend that this was the end of episode 3, and uh, get on with your merry lives and watch episode 4, where things finally come to a beautiful, life-affirming crescendo. So, uh, thank you for watching. I do apologize for uh, somehow fucking up my own... Uh, let's play, but uh, anyway, I hope this uh, patches up the little bits that you, that you missed. Please uh, like and subscribe, whatever you kids do, but uh, do leave me a comment. And uh, if that comment is about what a talentless hack I am, then um, you could possibly be right. Anyway, I will see you next time, next week, for an entirely different game. Please do have fun and enjoy episode 4 if you haven't watched it already. So, um, take care, guys.